What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Eternal Darkness. Last episode, we started off this game as Alex shooting skeletons randomly for unknown reasons. It was probably a dream, actually. Her grandfather just died, and she's convinced it's a murder for some reason because, you know, he was kind of beheaded. Anyways, we explored the first floor in the last episode. By the way, this this let's play is blind. I haven't mentioned that yet. Um, and yeah, uh, that, that's really all I gotta say. <laughs> hey, we already saw this portrait. How dare they reuse portraits? Rude. All right, let me out of there. Let me out. Of, let me out of there. All right, there's only one door up here. Under desk tape. The door is locked. Oh no! It's almost like we have a key or something. Ha <laughs> Use it. Key comes apart in the lock. Key the second floor is broken. Perhaps there's another. There's a way of repairing it. Oh, that music is way too happy considering the freaking. Just <laughs> it's broken the key. The key must be repaired somehow for the door. Okay. I mean, this won't work. No. A dresser key. Huh. So it looks like we've. This is the first puzzle in the game. There's a telling one phone there. Okay, let's see what we have on the map so far. Do we have anything that's kind of like a bedroom? Not really. We have a kitchen, we have a library, and we have like a music room kind of thing. And also that telescope room. We need to find a dresser. If I was a dresser, where would I be? Is it gonna even give me like an indication? Like, would this count as a dresser? I mean, it's clearly not a dresser. I think the main focus is that. like this right here. Would that count as a dresser? That's like, oh, there anyway, That's just like a. Oh, that's cool. Oh, the door's locked. Oh. Well, apparently I failed. I didn't know that was locked, so I apparently failed at looking over the first floor completely. A dresser. Hmm. It's probably a dresser over here somewhere. Is this it? There's, there's nothing locked there, though. Hmm. 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 So I know there's a whole bunch of monsters in this game. Did you know that? That I just spoil it to you, even though this game is completely 100% blind. Minus the fact that I know there's sanity effects. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this room. Dude, we better not have to figure out this puzzle already. Because I have no freaking idea how to even start to figure this out. Oh, see, like this right here. Uh, yeah, like that's a kind of a dresser, right? It's a cabinet. And thank God there's crows when I walk in that section of the house. What's this? Is there anything? Nope, doesn't look like it. Hmm. Alright, let's go back outside. And go back through this way. Because this is kind of like a little, it's a little table. But I know some of those tables have like locks on them sometimes too. Right? Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything there. Okay, that's where we got the key from, so I doubt it'd be anything, it would have anything to do with that. How I even got this key is kind of a mystery to me. I need a blade for this, don't I? Hmm. No, I don't think this will work, but let's try it anyways. No, okay. This is a weird, look at the, look at the floor, there's like a weird eye on the floor. Look at the fire. Oh, she even kind of looks at the fire, too. That's cool. That's a cool effect. Whoa, why'd I start running there? I didn't press the button to run. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, I can confirm there's nothing in here. In the last room. <laughs> in fact, this is the last room kind of sucks. It's going to make me really nervous, because if we can't figure out what's in here, then we're screwed. Oh, oh, this is a different text now. A grand pian piano stands here awaiting the hands of a decent musician. Unfortunately, Edward never really lived up to that description. You know, such a piano fell into disuse. Well, that's unfortunate. Do we gotta examine stuff multiple times sometimes, I wonder? Hmm. Does this, does this tell me anything? Significance to what? Oh man. Oh man. I'm playing this game for 20 minutes and I'm already stuck. Dude. Oh, by the way, in between episodes, I adjusted the brightness a bit more. I made it a bit more bright. I made it about. I brought it to the halfway point of the bright on the brightness option. 
So hopefully that'll be the best quality possible. Here on originally Chris OPS, I aim to give the best quality possible. Oh, there I am being all tired. Stop being tired, you little baby. You little baby. Uh, to the chest. To a chest of drawers or a dresser. The fact that dresser is lit, lighted up, convinces me that that's more important. I mean, chest is very distinguishable. Let's try this, anyways. Did I already try it? I'm pretty sure I already tried this. Yeah, I can't. I can't use that now. Is this is gonna turn into. Let's freaking try to use a key on everything that looks like it might be unlockable. That's what this game's gonna turn into, isn't it? Ah. Uh, see, it's like at this point, I feel like I might as well start cutting, right? No, I don't want to use that. It's like, what the heck? How am I supposed to know what to do with this? Wait a minute. So it's something like... Is there a mirror here? There is not. Like, there's no way to even see my progress with this mirror stuff, is there? Hmm. There's three mirrors. Can we examine this? Hey, let me do it once. Will let me do it again? It's not letting me do it again, is it? Can I zoom in at all? Cradle in the frame. It's glossy surface painted like this of an ancient map of lenses situated in the northern hemisphere. Huh. Well, what does that tell me? Not much, really. Let's try a key here. I cannot use it right now. Great! Ha 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 ha! See, like, look right above me. There's, like, a little notch there. Is, it, is that related to anything, like, at all? No? Super. Hmm. The fact that it only lets me examine stuff once is kind of sucks, too, because I don't really know what to do. Is there anything else in this that could help me? A little journal. Hmm. Dude, I don't want to start cutting already. It's almost 10 minutes in this episode and I haven't done anything. Alright, I guess unfortunately I have to cut and cut back to when I find out what the heck to do. So I guess I'll be right back. <laughs> The books in the corner seem to focus on the supernatural, the writings of Poe, Lovecraft, and Poetry of Blake, the art of Bosch. Everything with a tie to eternal or eth ethereal horror or fantasy. It is all here. The reference library to the arcane. Was this Alex's grandfather's secret hobby? Is it really necessarily needed to be secret? I mean... Okay. I mean... Dude. Just let me go to use... Look at these runic symbols, like you see on the top left there, like it glows and then it disappears. And see it, it's popping up again. What does that mean? Does that mean anything? Is that just kind of like, ooh, look at this art. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Okay, anyways, guess I'm cutting again. What did the other clock say? That might have something to do with the other clock. To the crook! To the crook! Let's go look at the time on the other clock again and come back and maybe try adjusting the hands to what the other clock says. That's my best bet so far, I think. That is the wrong way. See, that's 3.30. Beautiful carriage clock. The hands appear to be stuck, yet the clock continues to tick. With the time pre or permanently set to 3.33. 3.33! Aha! I get it. It's half a six, six, six. <laughs> okay, I think that's a solution to that puzzle. Let's go try that out. I hope... Well, I mean, that doesn't really solve much. But maybe this will grab me a way forward or give me a secret passage or something. Mm-hmm. Yes, I will. Three. Oh, now you tell me! Thanks, asshole! <laughs> there we go. Glad I kind of automated. There we go. 
Oh boy. This is totally a precursor house entire game's gonna go for me, isn't it? Good lord. I'm really actually happy with this character model, by the way. She's cute, but she's not like made a sexual object. I'm, I'm actually really happy with I guess Nintendo developed this game, didn't they? I'm really happy with what Nintendo did. Hey, it's the book! It's the book! And also, this is really creepy and also really freaking cool, I gotta say. What's that? Some like ancient Bible picture? An age page set inside a glass frame hangs on the wall. An insane scribbling uh, covers the page and comprehensible to Alex. Perhaps if Alex had some kind of tome that could be deciphered. Hmm, I wonder what the tome she refers to can be. Or I guess the narrator. The Gothic cathedral is silhouetted against a stark light. The image is vicious and devoid of sub sublimity. Every breaststroke echoes the spikes of architecture, imbuing a violent feeling. As though the building itself is a harsh imposition of or unreality. A grim picture indeed. Cool. Hey, it's those creepy masks you people see like in malls and they have like three thousand dollars or something crazy like that. This looks like some kind of mask for our giant. The face is serene and composure with a faint hint of a smile tugging at the corners of the mouth and, and eyes. Close in deep meditation. Did you call that a smile? That looks like he's like big, being a big O oh mouth, you know, with the O oh mouth. So there's my inner Nintendo could be sun coming out again. Looks like some kind of bridge or castle or some Pain, painting of a jungle shrouded building. It seems to be a temple in Asia, perhaps Thailand or Cambodia. Cambodia. Alright, is there anything else? Ooh. Hey, it's a sword! The ancient Roman weapon, a gladius, is on display above a fireplace mantle. Another token of uh, athletic junk. Pick it up! Hell yeah! That's awesome! Dude, I've always wanted swords. I really want to just, just, you know, like swords. <laughs> Diabolic trying of a stack of human bodies. Each with. What? Those are all human bodies? What? Each one cemented into place. What twisted psych, psych could have ex executed this drawing? Though disturbing, it is meticulously rendered down to the subtle, subtlest detail. The precise anatomy of fractured bones and convulsions of spines and ribs intertwined in mesmerizing sight. That's because it's not a painting, it's a picture! Do -do -do -do. There's even like text displaying, like describing what it looks like on there. Oh yeah, I see a person at the bottom there. That's creepy and really cool. Neat. Alright, is there anything else in here? I really hope there's more music in this game than just this weird... Buh! <laughs> I mean, kind of sick of it, to be honest. A small shred of candles, their placement appears to be very deliberate, matching the etchings of the table with the wall's illustration. The candles are only... Oh, great, super. We're gonna summon Satan, and then we're also gonna get beheaded. Okay, let's grab the tome. That's also... That's bound on both sides, so I don't understand how we're gonna ever read it. A large leather bound antique book rests upon the cluttered desk. Should Alex read the book? Ah, uh, no. And that's the end of the game. Thank you guys so much for watching! I'm just kidding. Okay, fine. Let's Let's pick it up. Let's take a look at this book, and let's not accidentally skip this cutscene. Well, those definitely were all future boss battles. I had no knowledge of what was to come, nor did I care. How the knowledge changed me, it will also change you. As you read this, you will come to learn fear as I have. You too will come to understand, or you will perish. I like how we're kind of learning her to grandfather's story. That once I could not see story, beyond down. the veil of our reality, to see those who dwell behind. My life now has purpose, Yay! for I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. I was once a fool. Ah, oh, now we're playing Rome Total War. Where is Quies Candamest? Where is Conservandai? Facusatis aquae sumat. Et animus eorum conferma. Pugna huis diacit modo prima multarum. Si ingeptum conficiamus. Quam primum, Centurio Augustus. Wolo res I would like to compliment you once more on your battle tactics. Our enemies did not have a chance. 
Okay. Do you believe that it really exists, Centurion? I do not doubt our Emperor's beliefs, or his orders. But if we are to retrieve the artifact, then we must be strong and patient. That was weird. They like started dubbing it over English all of a sudden, kind of randomly. Okay, did he hear that, or is that kind of... Oh, yes, he hears it. Hey, that's the sort of his guy! So, so those runes we've been seeing, those runic markings. Oh my god, those stones are so flat! Look at that flat surface! Ah! A lightning storm! What the hell? He is turning to yellow lights! What? We're him now? Maybe the die the dies on the floor is finally crafted, inlaid with golden gems that Pios can identify. A strong linear design is situated in the middle and is equally unknown to the Roman soldier. So are we him because we picked up the sword or him because we read the book? Or how is this relevant? Uh, I should probably learn my new controls here before moving too forward. I guess that's the block, maybe? I'm not really too sure what that is. <laughs> that sound effect. Yeah, some of the sound effects in this game are kind of silly sounding. Okay, so we're not in the mansion. We're not in the mansion. We're in the woman shin. Get it to the mansion. Uh, well, I heard it said leads it to the dank heart of Donkey Kong. Of Donkey Kang. Of the labyrinth. Danger looks beneath you. The pious. Uh, courageous resolve does not buckle. Should Pi Pios climb the ladder? Pius Pios. I already forgot how they pronounce his name. All right. Hey, that skeleton's totally gonna come alive. I know you are. Don't even lie to me. Has still his shoes on. Look at his like web fingers kind of thing. Well, they're not, they're not web, but they look like they're, they're so skinny. Oh god, that's only a distraction. Behind you. I knew it. Okay. Behind you, dude. If that one could come alive, it makes you think the one behind you won't come alive. I know it. Really? Okay. That's good. This one's coming alive. Oh, who's that? All right, just, just met. Whoa! He's bones and he still bleeds. That's amazing. I commend you. Also, you're really freaking tall. Oh my god! Dude, that. First skeleton, he sure took a lot of freaking. Oh, nice! Finish him. He sure took a big beating. What the heck? He just yellow. Ah, oh, my God, this bird! Ah! Ha! 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 Johnny Bravo! It. Johnny Bravo! Ha! 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 Okay. I don't appear to have a health bar. I'm not too sure if that's good or bad. Oh, we gotta finish it and move. Are you alive? Oh, there we go. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, I think I like Zelda's poofing animation better when an enemy dies. A strange granite block lies on the floor. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. See that runic symbol? Okay, got it. It's like a weird W with a line. Alright. Let's go in the door. Let's get on the floor. Ah, oh, there's more! Ah! Oh, I can't finish him! I can't finish him! Why is this guy so big? He's so freaking giant, man! Oh no! I want to finish him! <laughs> Strange guy and fall across the power. Thank god time stops when you examine stuff. I picked up the granite block! Boo! You too? Oh, no, okay, fine. Alright, we'll just 
Well, let's finish you the old fashioned way. Meh. Oh, we're not. Okay. Bye. Good fight, noob. Good fight. Oh, he's still alive? Seriously? Finish him. There we go. I guess I gotta stop moving maybe for that to pop up or something. I'm not really too sure how that works. Alright, let's go through the door. Oh, there's more! I keep getting surprised when I go through the door and there's suddenly like skeletons all of them up my grills. All of my bare grills. Oh no, it's behind you! Oh no, this is bad! This is bad! Spin attack! Spin attack! Oh, there's my health bar! Oh, good. Oh, there we go. <laughs> And this meter represents life energy every time a character takes damage, a level will get lower. If I reach zero, the character will die. Okay, what's this do? Let's, let's check it. There's a sharp edge block of granite etched on one side with a curious line design colored in insipid green. Um, say anything else? Colored blood red. Mm, this is Gladius. A Set up out of Roman army, a short double edged sword with a sharp triangular point. The gladius was designed primarily for hacking and chopping the enemy, but could be used to pierce armor as well. Cool. Let's equip it. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Alright, uh, this is ending pretty badly, actually. Oh, no, no! It's not equipped anymore! I thought it was equipped! Good lord! Okay, there we go. Alright. I don't know why I was not equipping it. When it says equipped, I expect it to equip even though it was already equipped, so that was kind of silly to me to do. Dude, come on, seriously. I feel like I'm doing something wrong because I'm attacking so awkwardly and slowly. Can I finish some of you? Finish all of them. There we go. Hey. Good fight, noob. Get a better internet connection next time. Ha ha ha. That's not funny, that's really stupid. Alright. Oh, I think I was supposed to listen to that. I like how whenever there's something red in games like this, they describe it as blood red. It's like this is the only game you would imagine them to do, or the only genre of games that would describe red as blood red. A ghostly blue. <laughs> yeah, that too. Stuff, words like blood and ghost, they always have to like put in like that. Finish them! Dude, I can't finish him because he's slightly off screen. Ow! Dick! Liss, because he's a skeleton. Alright. Yay! Cool cutscenes. Alright, let's go down. Yay! Is there any more skeletons down here? Hello? Hi! Take this! This is for bringing inside of my body, you asshole! Yeah! Goodbye! <laughs> Goodbye! Have a good day! The bars across the door block Piazza's exit from the room. I bet they do. Alright, let's go through this room. Oh boy, things are getting more ominous. <gasps> Ooh, we have found the block rooms. Did I pick- Oh no, I missed one, I think. Oh, they already see me. I was like, in the next episode! <laughs> I guess we're taking care of this room first. Pretty sure my game, my, my Wii's slowing down right now. Can't handle all these intense mobs. Alright, let's move for the heavy. Oh, nice! There's friendly fire in this game. That's actually awesome. Things kill each other. Oh, no, 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 no! Don't touch me! He touched me! He touched the butt! He touched the butt! Alright, you're all dead now. You die. Bye. Have a good day. You die too. Okay, bye. Okay. I'm glad you have a nice day. Okay, bye. I don't know what the voice is. Okay, let's pick up granite block with a root with a purple. This is gonna say a ghoulie. What's it what's it say? What's it say? Uh a curious line design filled with tainted by black shadow. <laughs> what did the green one say again? Did it say anything haunting like that? Insipid green. I don't know what insipid means. I don't know. I'm not even gonna pretend I do know. Alright! So in the next episode, we'll put place these blocks inside here and see what happens and maybe figure out why we're a freaking Roman ass general right now. Are we a general? I'm not really too sure actually. But we're in the military, that's for sure, unless I'm just cosplaying right now. I'm not really too sure of that either. Thank you guys so much for watching! 
and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.